Hi friends, if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you want to know more about how to make videos on YouTube. So today I'm going to show you the equipment that I use to make my videos on YouTube, but also how I edit the videos on YouTube. And lastly, I will tell you what is the most important part of making a video, which is also the part where I spend most of my time to make the video and that not many YouTubers talk about. So let's start with the first thing, which is the equipment. Many cameras today have a great video quality, so anything that you buy around $500 is really a good investment. The camera that I have is a Canon 200T, which is also called Canon Rebel SL2. It has a touch flip screen, which is very useful if you want to see yourself when you're vlogging or when you're filming a video. I made a lot of research before investing on this camera because I really wanted something that could shoot good quality videos but at an affordable price. To shoot my videos I used the kit lens that was included with the $520 that I paid for the camera and to be honest I never felt the need to upgrade the lens because I always had good feedback from my friends and from other people. However this kit lens is an 18 to 55 mm and if you're a vlogger I recommend a lens that is at least 14 mm or 16 mm for a wide angle field of view. Next, let's talk about the tripods that I use. I use two tripods. The first one is this small tripod here, which is a Manfrotto. And the other one is a tripod that I am using right now, which is the main tripod. It is an Amazon basic tripod. I use the main one to shoot my videos at home, like right now, and on the street. This small one is just for random things like shooting videos while I am doing a script or to read the script that I have on my phone here. The big tripod has two bubbles so you can always check that your shots are leveled. The small one doesn't have bubbles but it has this red button here that you can press like this so you can rotate the camera that you are using. It is very famous for vlogging because it's a very small tripod but like today I am using it to read the script for this video and yeah we will also talk about the script to make videos on YouTube. The camera that I am using right now is my phone and to be honest it is really good. If you want to start making videos just take the best camera that you have and start filming. Attached to this Manfrotto tripod I also have my little phone holder that I use to make some random shots when I don't have my main camera. Also sometimes I use it on the main tripod to attach the phone and to make a live stream on Reddit and on Twitch sometimes. So if you are starting YouTube and you have only your phone as a camera, this is really a useful tool to make videos. And now let's talk about the microphone. You can stand watching a bad quality video that has a good audio, right? But you don't really want to watch a good quality video that has poor audio. The microphone that I choose to record my videos is the Rode Video Micro. This is a very good quality microphone and it is the one that I am using right now here. This one. You just plug it into the camera and you are done. No need for batteries. This is the first microphone you want to buy if you want to upgrade your audio quality for the YouTube videos. I also use the Rode Video Micro to record my busking covers. I just put it on the top of the camera or in front of the amp pointing towards me. But if you want to record music at home, the microphone that I recommend is this one. The Rode NT1A together with the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. These two are really high quality entry level gears to record music at home. But this video is more about how I make my videos on YouTube. So we can talk about this on another video. Another camera that I use to make some shots for my YouTube videos is the GoPro. And the one that I use is this one, which is the GoPro Hero 5 Black. I use that camera to make some shots when I go basking on the street, but also and mainly when I do some live streams from home. It is also a wide-angle camera, so you can use the camera for vlogging if you want. When you start making YouTube videos, you will end up having many, many files to store. Like, to make this video, I made so many shots that I really need a lot of space to store all those files. So, the external hard drives that I have are these two. One is called Ben, and the other one is called Alex. And these are really two good external hard drives for the price and you will find the link in the description of this video to this hard drive. 
And lastly, when you shoot a video for YouTube, one of the most important things is to have a good light setup. I have these newer lights with two different color temperature. I have one here on my right, which is at 30 degrees behind me, and another one here in front of me, which is at 45 degrees. So this is set with a warm color temperature, and this one is set with a cooler color temperature. As you can see, there is a yellowish light here on my, in this side of my face, and then there is a more white and cool color temperature here in this side of my face. So, but I will show you how it is without these two lights. And this is the video quality when you don't change any settings in the camera but you just turn off this light and this light and as you can see the difference it is from here to the sky but now let's talk about video editing the software that I use to edit my videos is Adobe Premiere Pro it is the first software that I've ever used and I learned keying and masking and a lot of other stuff by using the software to make my videos. I also learn color grading by myself and I don't use plugins. I have a preset safe for when I make shots at home. Like for example, what you see now is a color graded shot, but if I do this, this is the non-color graded shot. So let's bring back the color graded shot. But these are things that you learn when you start using the software that you choose to use. So you will learn these things with time. For the thumbnails of YouTube, I use Photoshop and I use just the mouse often, but sometimes when I have small little details, I prefer to use a drawing tablet. To use a pen is much more comfortable than a mouse when you have like small details to add to your thumbnails. What we are going to get into now is really one other essential component of making a video, which is also one of my favorite parts, and it is the art of making the video flow. There is a technique to make this that I learned after making many videos, and after watching some content from other creators, and there is no other way to learn this technique other than just making more and more videos. To start, I cut out the arms and the long unnecessary pauses. I use the main one to shoot my videos at home, like right now and on the street and this small one is just for uh, random things like shooting videos while I am doing a script. I use the main one to shoot my videos at home like right now and on the street. This small one is just for random things like shooting videos while I am doing a script but making it as natural as possible. Next thing to keep in mind is that when someone is watching your video on YouTube they want to see the story of your video not just you talking in front of the camera for 8 or 10 minutes which might be boring but showing what you're talking about like for example this video is about the equipment so i show you the tripod the camera the lights the microphone and it is more interesting to watch the video regarding the video editing a great editing technique is the j-cut in which the audio of a following scene overlaps the picture of a preceding scene like for example if i say today the weather is so bad I don't know if I am going to use an umbrella or not. Today the weather is so bad. I don't know if I am going to use an umbrella or not. You can really see the difference between these two kind of editings. And if you use it properly, it will add really a good flow to your video. Depending on the video that I want to make, I can add sound effects like this one. Or... All this to add more interaction with the story of the video, but I can also use overlay text. Zoom in and out when something funny happens or whenever you think it is appropriate. All this helps to make the video more entertaining to watch. And finally, what I really want you to know that not many YouTubers tell is that often what you're watching here on YouTube has a script with an intro which is called a hook, a body and then a resolution at the end. Like for this video I worked on the script in a cafe for a few hours because I really wanted to make this video a good video so you can get some value from it. Often the YouTuber that you follow has a character who is trying to keep you entertained for the whole video to deliver a story or a message. And this takes a lot of work, dedication and hours of filming and editing a video. And sometimes this translates also in hours of loneliness. But this can be a subject for another video. I love making videos, I just wanted to tell you that YouTubers are not showing everything about themselves in their videos. 
What I do in this channel is to share my passion about music with you, but this is just one part of who I am. If you want to know more about what I am doing here, you should check out this video where I explain why I left my job to follow my dreams. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you with the next one.